Previously on Stingers. Give me the file! Relax. Oh. <laughs> oh God, keep it up and you force me to go to the cops. You seem very anxious about it. Well, of course I'm anxious! What if the brass found out I was bipolar? I have much pleasure in pronouncing you husband and wife. <laughs> Just sit here. No, seriously, we need to get you to a doctor. No. No doctor. Okay, well, we have to try something. I'll call the hospital. I'll... No. no, I just need my medication. Didn't you bring it? If you knew the full extent of what I've done. Please, you can stop this. You have to forget about Linton, okay? He didn't hurt me. I'm okay. I killed him. <laughs> no, you didn't, Look, It's just your mind. It's playing tricks on you. And where's your medication?
taken in for questioning, you're most certainly charged. I'm sorry. The fact is I'm guilty, there's no question of that. Well, you're doing a good job drunk and disorderly. And I guess there are mitigating circumstances, certainly. You can understand the motive, but does that mean you ignore the crime? Look, I don't think so. Detective Inspector. I think we can forget all about the rank thing. You're a desk sergeant, I'm a detective. What is it you're actually looking for? Justice, justice! Justice to be done and seen to be done. I'm not following. What once was found and now is done, here I am, I'm giving myself up. Take me in, I'm yours. Excuse us a minute. You do what you have to do? Take a seat. Thank you. Thank you. Look, this is straightforward. I don't see why it's taking so long to organise! Luke! Churchy, Churchy, give me a hand. He won't listen to me. Mate, mate, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be with Angie. Well, he's just got married, you know, cold feet, he's pissed. We've all had a big night. Need a hand to get him out of here? Hey, listen, you can't do your job, ass clown. Get me somebody who can. Luke, tell me about it. Come on, mate. Come on, Peter. I can't go anywhere. Don't you understand what I've done? Okay, you talk to me about it upstairs, all right? Come on, mate. You're not listening. I'm trying to do the right thing. Get out of here. Come on. I've got Luke here with me. Angie? Yeah, I hear you. We're in the office. Is he okay? Not really. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll come straight over, okay? No, we have to get out of here. Okay, I'll meet you. Where? You don't have to wait here. You should go home. It's like past three in the morning. I can't believe this is happening. This isn't... This is not supposed to be like this. Well, it's not your standard wedding. I'll give you that much. I suppose you think I'm pretty stupid. I didn't say that. It's just... I didn't expect... I knew he was sick, but I didn't expect this. Mrs. Harris? Oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm just not used to that. How is he? We need to talk. I'll give you a minute. No, it's OK. What's the situation? He's sedated now. He's comfortable. He's been off his medication. Yes, I'm aware. And in the first instance, we'll try to redress that situation. But if he takes his medication, he'll be fine, won't he? I mean, he just needs some sleep. I think it's more serious than that. The lack of medication has resulted in an acute depressive phase. I'd recommend a course of electroconvulsive therapy. What? Medication can take a couple of weeks to get right, whereas ECT is immediately effective. It allows us to interrupt the cycle he's in. You're, you're talking shock treatment. Your husband has benefited greatly from this treatment in the past. It's true, Angie. It works. How do you know about this? I've been here before. With Luke? The sooner we commence the treatment, the better.
Oh, thanks. Breakfast? No, thanks. Go on. Good for you. <laughs> Pete, we're going to have to try to keep this quiet. This could totally ruin Lex's career. You don't have to tell me. I've been doing it for two years. Yeah, I still don't understand why you didn't think to tell me this before. Well, you're so bloody sure I was against the whole idea of you two getting together. Well, maybe if you'd said why, I would You wouldn't listen. And when I did try and warn you, it sounded like sour grapes. You know that guy, Brett Linton? The serial rapist. Brian was looking at him for the balaclava rapes and the attack on me. Yeah? Luke's obsessed with him. Luke's obsessed with a lot of stuff. It's the way he works. No, it's more than that. He thinks he... Luke's saying he killed him. That's what he's banging on about down at headquarters. Obviously he didn't. He's just having delusions and he's focused on the guy he thinks tried to hurt me. Do we know if this Linton is healthy? Why? You think it's actually a possibility? You think Luke could have actually killed this person? You sure this is Linton's? According to his file. So dumb, I shouldn't even be here. Let me take a couple of seconds. Grace! Get your hands in the air. Hey, mate, take it easy. In the air, now. Hey, what the bloody hell are you doing? Just visiting. It's all right, he's one of us. Angie, what are you doing here? Well, you're not telling me the whole story. Well, I've been delayed. Luke has an illness in the family. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear that. Angie decided to see if she could ID Linton face to face. You know, since she's got to hang around. Oh, well, Linton's gone. What? He's vanished off the face of the earth. Since when? Since the attack on Angie. Look, there's more to this. There's something going on between Harris and Linton. Nothing's going on. Well, maybe I should speak to Luke about this then. Brian, he's busy. Look, I am trying to investigate these crimes. He's very... Serious crimes. Now, if you guys know something... Brian, if we have any information that helps, we'll give it to you. <laughs> well, I've heard that from Luke, too. Look, one minute Luke alibis Linton. He what? He provided an alibi for Linton on another sexual assault that I'm investigating. But then he suddenly turns around and, and says I should put pressure on Linton because, get this, Luke knows for a fact that Linton is a serial rapist. No explanation of why he knows, or how he knows this, he just knows. Was this before or after the attack on me? Before. Look, I'm thinking the attack on you was, was payback. I mean, you know, to get back at Harris. What? Well, you know, because of the history together. You know, Harris put Linton away eight years ago. Didn't Luke actually tell you this? Yeah. Who did I marry? You know, what person did I walk down the bloody aisle with? Ange. Seriously, Pete, all this stuff I don't even know about. Like some total stranger. Was uh, Luke having any money problems? Well, how would you know? Well, there may have been a couple of times he seemed a bit stressed out financially. Why? I had this weird confrontation a little while back with the journo. Mm -hmm. She wanted an interview with Luke and he handballed her on to me. It turned out, somehow, she got hold of his psych history. She what? And she had this whole file on him and his illness. Wouldn't say where she got it from. Maybe he was being blackmailed. I mean, if somebody can rip off his psych file, they could use it to extort cash. Linton. Possibly. And he never bothered to tell me any of this either. It didn't seem appropriate. Oh, for God's sake, Pete, it's me you're talking to. You were rushing off to marry the guy. It wasn't my place to be interfering. Right, so rather than look like a prick, you let me walk into a complete disaster. I figured eh? it was up to your husband to tell you. 
Morning. Morning. Didn't she supposed to be on a honeymoon? Morning, people. Hey. What's Angie doing here? She probably just forgot a passport or something. Sophie, Ange? She hasn't, she hasn't left yet. For honeymoon. General meeting in five minutes in here. So what's the problem? Leo, Chris, I want you to track down this guy. Linton. Isn't this the guy Gray's been investigating? Yes, he's done time for rape. Looks like he might be up to his old habits. I want you to find him sooner rather than later. Is this why Angie and Luke are sticking around? Just because Luke got me to copy Linton's file a few weeks ago? This or? has got nothing to do with them. They've just been delayed. Um, family illness. Now, there's a surveillance team on Linton's place, but so far he hasn't made an appearance. Why was Angie hanging around there? She's just helping out while she's still around. Now, that file's got all of Linton's known haunts and associates. Is this the psycho that attacked her? If it is, Harris will kill him. Apparently Luke was in here last night. What? Yeah, downstairs said that he came in. Let's just find the guy, OK? Call me the minute you find something. Oh, and uh, let's keep this one off the books, all right? Shouldn't we tell Brian? We'll tell Brian when we've got something useful. OK? Mm -hmm. Shared a cell with Linton. It should be just here somewhere. This is killing you, isn't it? What? You, me, you know? Ah. Oh. It's just a drunken pash lately. Yeah, but I'm a man. Yeah. And that's not what you're usually into. So, either you're a liar. A liar. Well, you're not a lesbian, are you? Is that right? Either that or... Or... Or I'm a dead set legend. Yeah. No, look, maybe you're right. Maybe I just need some, um, some time to get my head around it. Sure, yeah? absolutely. Okay. Hey, you busy? Yeah. Oh. Um, I, I think I need to talk to you. Uh, so if right now is not the greatest time. Yeah, well, yeah, there's never a great time for this. You're uncomfortable with me. No. I don't want you to be like that. No, I'm not. I'm just flat out. No, you're being weird and, and awkward, and it's because of what happened between us. Uh, uh, I don't know how to say this, actually. Um, I like you. I really do. I think you're really attractive. <sighs> uh, the thing is, though, um, I'm not ready for emotional involvement. Or any kind of relationship, really, for that matter. Not right now. Right, yeah. I think I need to be single for a while. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I I'm a very physical person, and uh, I, I think I used you f for my own short-term physical gratification. <sighs> Sorry about that. Um, I, d I don't want to hurt you. I, I just, um, I just want things to be cool. I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah? Yeah, yeah. Chris. What's your dress? You sure this is the guy? Yeah, he's a grumpy ass. He's living here? He was, but I haven't seen him for a while. I think he's done a runner. Any idea where he might have gone? He had a visitor, and I think there might have been a bit of aggro. One of our residents was complaining, said he got woken up by the fight. Did you get a good look at the visitor? Yeah, he was mid-forties, maybe. Really short, short hair. He had the suit on. If you guys find this fella, tell him he's only paid up until the end of the week. Then his stuff's out on the street. We'll see what we can do. Thanks. 
Paris arrives, they fight, let you disappear. You don't know for sure that it was Luke. Sounded a lot like him. Is that... Is that blood? with somebody's head. You get them locked up so they're at the mercy of assholes. No, mess with the best of us. They fight. They don't make it this easy. You see me, Luke? Lincoln! Come on, back in a bit. No, 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 you don't understand. Oh, come on, no, come on. No. Come on stop. Stop. Let me go. Right. Let me go. Right. You've got to stop it's him. It's okay, mate. You've got to stop him, Linton. You've, you've got to stop him. Luke had a bad night. He had some nightmares, apparently. He became quite agitated. The duty practitioner had to administer a tranquilizer. Is that normal? No, not given the strength of the sedatives I'd already prescribed. How is he now? Well, we're keeping him under observation. Look, in a very small number of patients, an ECT can trigger a manic episode. Hang on, you said before that he was fine with this kind of treatment. In the past, yes, but that doesn't rule out the possibility of complications further down the line. You'll find he's quite drowsy, perhaps a bit disorientated. Just buzz if you need anything. Please don't start that again. They tried to suffocate me. You're just confused. You're imagining things. Oh. I didn't think it was imaginary. They're feeding you some pretty serious drugs. You just gotta let this go. Please? Pretty real for me at the time. That was nice work, guys, tracking Linton to that pub. Is he in custody? Not quite. He's left the pub and no one's sure he's gone, so we need another lead. Hey, forensics just called. The results of the beds better come through. Thanks, I'll speak to them. Well, I'm not busy. I can go pick them up. No, I'll do it myself. It's no trouble, I don't. I said I'll do it. Right, let's move it along, guys, and keep me up to date, okay? I need to check some things. You're supposed to be getting as much rest as possible. Yes, I need to know what visitors I've had. Are we getting lonely in there, are we? Please, I'm serious. Well, your wife's been in already today. Yes, I know that. What about, who was here last night? Your wife. She's the only visitor you've had. What about the other patients? What about them? Do you want me to give you a list of all the people who've come into the hospital? 
That's exactly what I need. Can you arrange that? Sure thing, Mr. Harris. Come on. But uh, I'm serious. Back to bed. We'll get some rest. He reckons Luton paid him a visit to the hospital. Last night? Yeah, right. Why would Luton do that? Maybe he wanted some of the pills Luke's been taking. They look like they might be fun. Anyway, at least now he finally seems to understand that all this stuff about him murdering Linton is just his mind playing tricks on him. Yeah, um... Look, uh, forensics checked out the bedspread from the hotel room. Mm -hmm. The blood matches Linton's. Most of it. There's also some blood that appears to belong to Luke Harris. No way. Maybe they made a mistake. You know, our forensics have got it wrong before. Something happened between those two, Ange. Something serious enough to put Luke in a nut house with a scrambled memory. Luke wouldn't kill Look, anyone. It's just a possibility, OK? We've got to consider that. It could have been what set him off. How did we get here? I don't know. You know, I'm... I am not like this. I am a normal. I'm, I'm a normal person. It's just one possibility. No, I never wanted a whole lot of weird stuff, Pete. Just... just normal, everyday stuff like a job and a car and... somebody OK to hang out with. Not all this, not all... not all this weird stuff. Yeah, Angie, Angie. You know, every time I think it's all cool, I think it's all fine, I suddenly find out that... No, you know, it's the opposite. It's really, really not cool. And I seem to be the only one who didn't know that. We'll sort it out. Yeah, we'll sort it out. What about, um, I go hide and you tell me when it's all fixed? Fine, we can do that. But I'm not gonna leave you here on your own, right? I'll go and get some things and I'll stay here tonight. Oh, thanks, Pete. I think I just really need to be alone. What are you doing here? I need to view some tapes. I'm a police officer. Man, you gotta go back to bed. No, you, you don't understand. What's your name? Please, please, listen to me. I can pay you. Man. You name a figure. Boy, you're a melancholy. I've got $100 today and 200 more tomorrow. Is there another camera angle on that corridor? Yeah, sure. Stop, stop, stop! Rewind. Stop! Can you zoom in on that image? You took your time. Mate, you realise I'm just going to have to take you back inside? Not once you've seen this tape from security. OK, give me the tape. You go back in there where you're supposed to be. No, I will at some point, but I don't have time for that right Luke, now. have you got any idea? Do you understand in any way what you're doing? Because you've got Angie, your wife, so freaked out. I have to find Angie. Mate, you've got to stop messing around with her, you dickhead. Should have stayed away from her in the first place. Peter, calm down. Take a sedative. Oh, shit. That's great. Let's both get really medicated. Listen! Linton's alive. You're off your nut, right? You don't know if Linton's dead, alive, or what the hell's happening. He's alive. I can prove it. He's on the tape. Why would Linton come here? To get at me. But where's Angie? At your place. Right. We're going to go there. Make sure she's all right. I'll now, go there. Just get in the car and drive. Come on. Get in the car.
Edi? 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 Oi. The car's not here. Leo, we got a problem. You got that stake put. Grace keeping surveillance on Limpless Place and someone's headed over to Angie's. Let's get a cale off on the car. See if her e tags registered within the last few hours. Uniforms are drilling the whole neighbourhood for information. Now, Linton's planned this for a long time. He'll expect that. He's gone to ground. He's gone somewhere safe, somewhere familiar, somewhere I'm familiar with. Maybe there's something in his files. No, 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 no. I've been over his files a million times. Let's head back to the pub where we were staying. I've been there. You won't find anything. Well, we can't just stay here just and... get in. There's got to be something here. You don't know shit about me. I know enough. But you crucified me at trial, didn't you? And you enjoyed every second of it. You wanted $70,000, here it is. We'll keep it. I'll have to think about what I really need. He's been planning this for a while. What? He's been buying video camera equipment. I think you do, don't you? You do? Angie. You know, if you don't say something, I'm gonna get really, really pissed off. Okay, here we go. Surprise. <laughs> How are you, Luke? You know, I bet you didn't think you'd see me here again, did you? You underestimated me, Detective. And now all you can do is just sit back, put your feet up, relax, and enjoy the show, because I'm gonna tell you, I am. I want you to meet somebody very special. Now, you probably know her as your wife. Hey. Look at her there. She looks gorgeous, doesn't she? Why are you doing this? Why am I? That's good. Keep going, keep going. Come on, say something else. Say it again. Say something else. Why are you doing this? Just keep it going, Tom. That's good. You're doing really well here. Come on, keep it going. Now, you got to admit, this is more interesting than Big Brother, isn't it? Yeah, it's our own little version. It's a uh, little brother. <laughs> Now, you know this is for Luke. Make sure you realise that, don't you? It's our own little wedding present for your husband. So come on, don't be like that. Say something. Say something. Just say something! No, it does me! You sure it's a good idea you're in here? Yeah. If anyone asks. It's been delayed. Family illness. Sophie. Leo, news? Nothing. I've been chasing my tail. Any word from Chris? No, she's probably out doing the same. I'm supposed to call back any time now. Linton's been buying video camera equipment. Let me know immediately if any package arrives addressed to me. I'll call downstairs, get him to keep an eye out. I'm telling him to hold anyone making the delivery. You think he's going to try and blackmail you? Yeah, he's asked for money before. And? I've got CityLink on line one. Church. Yeah, go ahead. They tracked Angie's e tag. The car crossed the Balti Bridge, got off the Tullamarine Freeway exit at Strathmore. Less than four hours ago. Yeah, thank you. Strathmore, what's in Strathmore? Isn't an airport? Don't tell me the bus is getting on a plane. No, he wouldn't be getting on a plane. So, go to Melwes? Yeah. Let's go through Linton's file again. Luke. Leo, Strathmore and surrounding suburbs. Anywhere he could hide, unnoticed, unheard of, just Anything that grabs your attention. Sure. He's heading for Essendon Airport. No, he's not getting on a flight, Peter. It's not his style. You really want to take that chance? Okay. Sophie, call Essendon Airport. Put him on alert. Send him a photo of Linton. Sure. We should head over there. Strathmore, Pascoe Vale, Essendon. His first victim. 
Linton took his first victim to an abandoned factory at Oak Park. You don't know, Luke. You're clutching at straws. We should be headed for the airport. No, 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 no. This makes sense. Why would he go back to the same place? Why would he rape Faye Anderson again? That's his M.O. He's showing off. He's trying to be brave. He's tempting fate. Luke, we've got to check the airport. Okay, Peter. You go to the airport. Take Leo. I'm going to the factory. This is getting really out of control, Linton. Oh, don't blame me, Ange. Hey, Luke's the one who put you in this position. He's not the one tying me up, though, is he? But he did put his job before your safety. I mean, aren't you humiliated? That's what all this is about, is it? The fact that he humiliated you? Well, he didn't need to be so aggressive with his prosecution, no. But you're going to find yourself in that situation again, Linton. He's going to charge you, he'll arrest you, he'll lock you up. Listen, if it had given me the money when I first asked for it, I wouldn't have gone this far. Ah. He doesn't tell you the important things, does he? <laughs> you see, Ange, it never really would have worked out between you and Luke. I mean, how can you marry a man who keeps secrets from you? Getting married advice from a psychopath now, am I? No, 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 no. Harris is a psychopath, and he keeps you totally in the dark because you're his little wifey. The fact mm -hmm. that your whole life is about Luke Harris means that he wins, you idiot. No matter what happens to me. Mm. Well, on that note, I think we're about ready to film. <laughs> 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 All you've got to do is just lie back, relax, hey, and think of hubby. Oh, I'm so going to get it. Okay. Pete, I found a car. It's at the factory. Any sign of them? No. Keys are in the ignition. It's clean inside. Okay, I'll call for backup. Leo and I are on our way now. Hey, Luke. What? Wait until we get there. Yeah, sure. you mean Angie? She's, uh, she's around. I don't think you really want to see her. Tell me where she is! She's not the same girl you married, Luke. I made sure of that. Oh, you can't kill me. Oh, yes, I can. Not if you want to find her alive. I'll take my chances. Okay. You got two minutes. Less now, actually. I mean, and this place is massive. I'm not trying to trick you, Luke. In a minute 45, Angie is dead. You piece of shit. Oh, now is not the time to start insulting me. Give me the gun. 
One minute 30 and counting. Come on, Luke, get a grip. You can't win this one. Give me the gun. Fight. Huh? It's time to say goodnight. Blinton! It's all right. It's all right. It's all right, baby. It's all right, bitch. It's gonna be all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's it's all right. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> 